Hello, welcome to Broken Mind and Growing Confidence, the podcast with funding from the National Lottery and the Government. I'm Claire from Positive Life Workshops. I am a guide and a healer. I help people who have struggled with anxiety and depression who want to start living that more positive life. We're going to talk about Christmas. I know Christmas is quite a difficult time for people and people struggle it reminds us of times what are not too good and it's at the minute with COVID going on and all these rules and regulations coming in I think a lot of a lot more people are struggling this year than normal what's important to remember is that we don't have to have a bad Christmas Christmas can be what we make it so if we kind of decide to stop and concentrate on all the horrible things that have happened every other Christmas all we're going to do to ourselves is bring another horrible Christmas full of horrible memories it's our choice and our decision to actually make Christmas what we want it to be so we can like decide right now that this year is going to be the best Christmas ever even if we've hated Christmas for the last 10-15 years why can't this Christmas be the best Christmas ever Why can't you do something that you enjoy doing? Some people are going to be on their own because of the rules and regulations. But in reality, a lot of people have spent Christmas alone for many, many years and they've enjoyed it because they've done things that they like to do, the things that they enjoy. So they might have bought themselves the favourite book to read on Christmas Day. They might have bought themselves a bath bomb to have a nice relaxing bath on Christmas Day. They might put some music on, they'll still make a nice Christmas dinner for themselves and they will make it what they want it to be so that they can enjoy it and be happy even though they've not got anyone else. And it's our choice if we want to spend it in a horrible space and time and in that negative space and time, then that's our choice. But as soon as we kind of step into that choice, as I've said in many of my podcasts before, as soon as we step into that choice, that that negative, then we start to spiral and things start to go down into that negative spiral. Whereas if we decide, right, this year, I am going to have a nice Christmas. Instead of sitting listening to all the songs that make us sad and upset and depressed and bring back memories of things that we don't like to think about and that are not nice and things that trigger us into that spiral of downwardness, find something that makes you happy. So if that's not Christmas music, just don't put Christmas music on, put something happy on, put something joyful on, do something, make yourself something, make yourself some crafts, make yourself Christmas cards. It's it, And it's not about what the actual outcome is, it's actually spending time doing something that you enjoy. So if you like doing crochet or knitting, spend your time doing some crochet or knitting. If that, if that makes you happy and that gives you fulfillment that you've created something, you do that. If you like cooking, Go and get something, bake a cake, it's Christmas, treat yourself, do these little bits and pieces that we can. And I know some people will probably be struggling on the present side of things if we've got kids, we've not been working our normal hours or we're not getting an income that we're used to, then we have to, our kids understand what's going on, they're not stupid and it's just kind of, if we've brought them up right, they should they, they should know that sometimes it's more difficult than other times and I think it's important that if the kids are little, things like gifts from Santa. So if you bought your your child a PlayStation 5 for Christmas, and we know that every other parent is really struggling to find a PlayStation 5, which is available for their child for Christmas, even if they can afford it. And then they go to school and say, Father Christmas bought me a PlayStation 5. And Father Christmas has only bought them a game for the family between them. And it's kind of making sure we kind of look at the bigger picture. So Father Christmas could have bought the game and yeah, the parent who works and who's got a job and who is still in work has been able to buy them a PlayStation 5. And it's different things like that. And it can get quite overwhelming when around the present side of things and not only the present gift side of things, but the presence of other people. And especially in this situation. So I know a lot of people can't travel and I know a lot of people live with family and sometimes it's it's hard to actually escape that situation so I've just been talking um, to Christine about this and saying as a mum it's quite difficult to escape and get time to yourself when the kids are really really little 
because they're quite they want your attention they want it they want it they want it and it's it's finding that time to escape and to get away even if it's for just five ten minutes to give yourself that breather and the discussion went along the lines of oh sometimes we get stressed out and I just went to the toilet and I just sat there for 15 minutes and it's like you know what that is just something that a mum will do when she needs that time to herself it's an important to actually step back and take that time for yourself as well because when we take that time for ourselves that's when we are able to do things for other people so we're trying to look after ourselves and other people but when we're not actually physically looking after ourselves so when we're not taking that time out to give ourselves that time or when we're taking the time out and feeling guilty about it that's when but you don't feel guilty about it you need that time to kind of replenish your energies and refresh yourself and to kind of give yourself that boost so I had a card reading the other day from um, Jeremiah Scott and he kind of said to me when you because I dyed my hair a few months ago in lockdown a rainbow colour and once I'd, I'd done that thing for myself it really really boosted my confidence it really really boosted my productivity and it is just these things that we do for ourselves that give us the energy and the confidence and, and the self-love that we need to be able to have the energy to look after other people. And it's very important because that, that energy that we're using when we're looking after other people is kind of, it, it's taken and taken and taken. And if you don't replenish your own energy and, and bring it back, then you're just giving and giving and giving but you need to give and take for yourself as well. So it's important. There's so much that we could talk about in this because there's the fact of not not being with anybody at Christmas is probably going to be one of the biggest things at the minute with the COVID and with the new restrictions because I know we're still in Tier 2, which we're quite lucky because I know a lot of people are down London are in Tier 4. Now, I, my family are mainly in Tier 3 in Wigan and I'm in Merseyside in Tier 2. So there's the situation of we, we're not allowed to cross over and see each other and it's Christmas time and it's doing what you can and kind of staying safe and protecting yourself and protecting your families. We might not get to see each other and spend hours together on Christmas Day and eat a meal together and things like that, but there's nothing wrong with being able to exchange the gifts and things like that. It's, it's important. You can still ring and speak to people. You can still video call. There's ways of kind of contacting people and message, message people. We can sit there and think we're all alone, we're all alone, we're all alone. And you know what? You will be all alone. But if you've got a phone there and you've got people you can contact, message people, reach out to people. You're not all on your own. There's, there's all emergency numbers, but you, you, your friends and family will respond even if they're busy, even if they're doing something and it's got something going on, they're going to get back to you at some point and it's kind of just reaching out for that that bit of contact, that bit of human support around you and knowing that there are loads of different things going on out there that are available for support. But it's just it's just knowing that it's our choice. We can make this Christmas what we want. We can be upset and remember all the past Christmases or we can take this opportunity now and think right okay what can we do this Christmas to make it that bit special so I've bought some baubles which say uh, Merry Christmas lockdown 2020 on them so we'll get a we'll have that on our tree and we'll kind of always remember and it's something that we can say oh remember that Christmas when we did that and remember and it's it's about the memories that you make so what did you do with this Christmas so did you just feel sorry for yourself and make it another bad horrible Christmas or did you make that decision to think right well I don't have to have a horrible Christmas I can make it what I want to do so do something that you enjoy if that's not Christmassy if that's not listening to Christmas music and having a Christmas dinner if you'd rather have a curry have a curry and go go in the garden and spend some time outside if that's what you like or bake cakes if that's what you like do something that you enjoy and something that makes you feel good take time out for yourself if you're not on your own and you're feeling overwhelmed by other people because that's like the opposite end of the spectrum isn't it it's it's going from doing what you can to keep yourself happy 
to doing what you can to keep yourself so that you kind of got that time to look after yourself. So this one person on one hand has got all the time in the world to look after themselves and do whatever they want, but they can get lonely and sad and they're not sure what to do or and they can go down that route of, oh no. And then the other person on the other hand has got all these people around them, but they've not got no space or no time to kind of look after themselves. So it's important that you kind of look at the, look at the opposite end of the spectrum and kind of protect yourself. And so if you're the person who hasn't got anybody to kind of be the right in your face and you're not getting your own space, if you're that person who's always got your own space, it's finding things that you enjoy doing within your own space and doing more of that. Because the more we do things that we enjoy doing, the more happiness we bring into our lives. And then on the other hand, when you've got too much going on, it's important to step back and take that time for yourself and to look after yourself, bit of self-care, even if that is going sitting in the toilet for 15 minutes, peace and quiet, when the kids are running around screaming and the, the toilet is everywhere, there's wrapping paper everywhere, there's loads of stuff to do, you, you're thinking about all the, all the tidying up in the next few days and all this, that and the other. It's taking that step back and giving yourself that time to like come down and think, right, okay, just take some time for yourself and enjoy it. There's quite a few things that I've done a bit of the opposite end of the scale, but I know it's it's difficult because if you're not used to having a happy Christmas and it's not something that you're used to doing, to say that you've got that choice sometimes is a bit a bit like, oh, well, no, I've not got that choice. But you have, it's taking the choice to do the things that make you happy, taking the choice to do, to think about the things that you're grateful for. Like I said in last week's podcast, it's, it's our choice what we focus on. And the more we focus on the things that make us happy and the things that the more we do things that make us happy and the more we kind of live in that space and that positive aspect of life the more things that come into our lives that we can be grateful for and it just kind of grows and grows and grows so it's it's really important to kind of step back and take a choice which way do you want to go you can go the same way as normal or you can make this decision no to yes so I'm going to look after myself and I'm going to do this when this happens so when I don't when I start to get down that spiral as soon as it starts I'm going to put this song on or as soon as it starts I'm going to do this because I really love doing that I'm going to go out for a bike ride I'm going to go for a walk I'm going to take the dog for a walk we all have different things that we do to kind of break our cycles and it's important that we get that in right at the beginning and take the choice to enjoy ourselves and be happy and kind of be just be grateful for what we what we can do and what we have got because we all know that everybody's having uh, this 2020 is happening to everybody and everyone's in the same situation but it's taking hold of what we want and, and making it the best it can be and um, we'll see you next week after christmas i hope everyone has a very merry holly holidays see you soon bye Thanks for listening to Broken Mind and Growing Confidence. Find us on Facebook at Positive Life Workshops. Come and join our Facebook group, Broken Mind and Growing Confidence, or the Ladies Wellbeing Group. Our anxiety course will be live soon. If you're looking to improve your confidence, if you're interested in any healing, card readings, having problems with anxiety, or your own confidence, feel free to give me a message. Thanks for listening. We'll be here again next Thursday. Goodbye.